Hello my beautiful friends! Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Tara. Today is so bloody exciting. Guess what's in this box? Okay so I went to Melbourne on the weekend just gone and I left home on Friday and I had to drive six hours to go to Melbourne and by the time I got to Melbourne pretty much we went out and did what we had to do that night went back to our motel room and I crashed I fell asleep and I completely forgot about the Lunar Beauty launch of the Moonspell palette I woke up Saturday morning and I was devastated I thought for sure that I'd missed out it was one palette that I had to have because the whole theme of it and everything like in Australia Halloween isn't such a big deal but the fact that it was all about witches and witchcraft and spells and magic and all that sort of thing it just screamed out to my aesthetic and my love of things like crystals and tarot and all of those sorts of things it's, it was something I had to have so I jumped on the Luna Beauty website and had a look but then I thought about what he'd said during his reveal video that Glam Raider was one of his official retailers and Glam Raider is in Australia so I went and had a look on the Glam Raider website and lo and behold the palette was still available <laughs> I cried, I peed like that's how excited I was my husband didn't know what the bloody hell was going on but yeah I nearly jumped out of my skin when I realised that Glam Raider still had some of the palettes left so I jumped on there on Saturday morning, I ordered the palette, then I forgot about it again and Tuesday morning it was on my doorstep. I've never had anything arrive so quickly ever. That was just mind boggling because I was gobsmacked. I live in a rural town in Victoria which we're six hours away from any major city. It was here in one business day like I couldn't believe it so I'm gonna open it up on here I haven't even looked at it I got it yesterday today's Wednesday and it's been sitting on my counter since yesterday I wanted to jump in and film right away with it yesterday but I just didn't have time so I've left it sitting there and I'm gonna open it and have like a real first impressions with you guys today because yeah I just I, I want to share that with you because I'm so bloody excited I got a card I got one of the Luna Beauty cards, which I've never received one of their actual cards before from any brand unless I buy it from their direct website. So that's really cool. So this would have come in the parcels that anybody bought when they bought the palette off the Luna Beauty website, I'm assuming, because it doesn't say anything about Glam Raider at all on it. It's just the card with the collection and this beautiful artwork on the front of Manny and his models and he's just gorgeous Like well, I've always really enjoyed Manny like, I don't get into the whole drama getting all that sort of crap I love Jeffrey I love Manny you know I, I really am really impartial to all of that sort of stuff and I enjoy all of them this is the first time I have ever bought anything from Luna Beauty I really wanted the Strawberry James palette but it just never happened. It came and went before I even got a chance to think about it. Before I do open the palette and reveal the palette I actually got my very first highlighter. This is the Moon Prism highlighter and just I can sneak peek the packaging in here and I'm so excited for this. But I'm going to set it aside for later. But here is the star of the show. Here it is. Oh my bloody god, I am just so excited for this. It's nice and heavy. It actually feels like a book. This is really, really cool. So that's just the outside packaging. I keep the cartons for all of my eyeshadow palettes. Like if you can see behind me, I've got like my non-drugstore palettes that I've bought since I started my channel all behind me and they're all still in their boxes. I don't store them in a drawer or anything so I just feel like they need to be in their cartons to keep protected. Here we go. Oh my god this is gorgeous. This is stunning. It actually looks like a book. It's got a padlock and even the side of the box looks like 
the pages of a book that have the gold foil, gold leafing on the pages. This is absolutely beautiful. What does it say on the back? Because it does have a little note from Manny. Luna Beauty. Something wicked this way comes. Be ready to shock and amaze in this enchanting 15 colour palette. Go from good witch to bad witch in a snap. This palette will put a spell on you. I was going to sing the song from the movie. Is it from... Is it from Witches of Eastwick? I'll put a spell on you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> I love it. I, I haven't even opened it and I'm already in love. But... I'm going to let you guys see it first. You ready? Oh, my ring light always gets in the way. I'm so sorry. There we go. Oh my god. This is gorgeous. I'm so in love. It is so heavy and it feels so expensive. Let's have a play! Let's put some of this stuff on our eyes, hey? I've already got my base makeup on, I've already primed my eyelids, and I did prime with my Essence. I love colour. Intensifying eyeshadow base. I've been using this and I just, I've been really enjoying it. And I don't have a lot of experience with eyeshadow primers, so I don't really have much of a base for comparison on what's better than, you know, something else. But this one's been working for me, so I'm happy. I'm going to go and I'm going to have a really quick think about what... I want to do with this beauty and I will be right back okay so I've zoomed you in a little bit closer and I think I've worked out what I want to do for my first look with my moon spell palette so I'm going to start with this lovely limey green it's got a very very unique undertone but it's a essentially a lime green and the shade name is Bonnie so I'm going to start with that one I'm going to use my number one refer brush and I might see if I can attempt to use the mirror. It has got a screen protector on it though. So I'm going to take this off. Ooh. I think every single person in the YouTube beauty community world, anybody that buys eyeshadow palettes, loves that feeling. Loves peeling off the protector off the mirror. It's so, so, so satisfying. Alright, so as I said, I'm going to go in with my number one refer brush. And I'm going to attempt to use this mirror. I usually am not very good at holding a palette and doing it at the same time but I'm going to try and I'm going to see how it goes I'm going to tap it off first because it does have a little bit of kickback I'm going to apply it just to my crease and I'm just going to pat it on first because this is the first time I have placed it on my eyeballs at all it goes on beautiful I don't want it to be super pigmented to start with I'm just going to use the end of the brush just to blend it out just a little so yeah as I mentioned I did just get back from Melbourne and I have vlogged a little bit. I attempted, <laughs> I use that term very, very loosely. I attempted to vlog some of my Melbourne trip, uh, mostly the shopping that I did on the Saturday. And actually I did vlog a little bit of the UFC event that we actually went to Melbourne for. I'm not sure if anybody that watches my channel is interested in seeing any of that, but I am going to show a little bit of it because hopefully it gives you guys a little bit of insight into, you know, what interests me outside of makeup. The main reason why we were there was for the UFC, like I said, and it was my, my husband's birthday gift. I bought the tickets for his birthday, and that's why we went to Melbourne. The shopping and going to Sephora and all of that was basically just a bonus because <laughs> we got to spend a few extra days there so I'm going to bring that down just to the outer corner of my lower lash line as well because I'm trying something different because I always struggle with blending out all the color that I put on the outside area of my eye so I'm going to drag it down a little just to close it off so I don't have to worry about blending out all of that color I like the tone of this green it's not too, you know, for me, it's not too offensive for me. It's a beautiful shade of green. A very grungy and very Halloween-y and witchy and all of that. Like, it's, it's a perfect green for this palette, I think. And I'm going to dip into this shade up here, Sabrina, which is a lovely purple, like a true purple. It's gorgeous. So, yeah, as I was saying, my trip to Melbourne... I did vlog a little bit of it and I will be sharing that. I have started to put it together and edit, but 
this came and I wanted to get this up as soon as possible so the video from my trip to Melbourne will be coming up next after this one so I'm just popping that purple shade Sabrina in my outer corner and I'm going to blend it now this is what's brilliant about the number one refer brush is that it's a do everything brush well that's what it's intended for so I can pack on some of that color which is really pigmented so that helps I'm gonna pop that on in my outer corner like that and then I'm going to use the brush just to blend it in with that green and it does blend really well with that green just sort of bring it into my crease a little it's really pretty and so far I haven't had an issue with adding the two colors together there's no muddying up of the shades so I'm gonna do the same on this eye so if any of you guys are actually new to my channel if you've come across from Annette's channel or Danielle's channels from my collaboration I did with the girls last week thank you so much for being here you've got no idea how happy I am that you guys have decided to stick around it just really does melt my heart that you chose to stay and check out some more of my content And I've enjoyed, immensely enjoyed chatting with you all in the comments. And thank you so much for leaving comments and all of your kind words. Everybody has been so kind. It really does make me feel so good about myself. I don't know about anyone else, but I have always struggled with receiving compliments. And I do think that's, it's a self-confidence and a self-esteem thing. While my confidence has continued to grow and grow and grow since I started my YouTube channel it's still not a hundred percent where it should be and every time somebody leaves me a beautiful comment I just I feel that little bit better about myself every single time so every single one of the comments that you guys have left me saying something kind or nice or sweet trust me it's it has a huge impact on me so I just wanted to say thank you because you're all amazing but it just it makes me feel so 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 good about myself so yeah again thank you so much and I am so 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 humbled and just grateful for the fact that I have reached over 300 subscribers like how the bloody hell does that happen I I don't even know why see I'm speechless the fact that there's 300 of you that want to come back and watch me is incredible and yeah I, I just hope that I just I hope I don't disappoint any of you because that just means so much to me that you chose to press that red button and stick around it really really does and obviously I have to thank the two girls Annette and Danielle for that because Without them too, none of you would be here and none of you would even know I exist. So to Annette and Danielle, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, you've just boosted my confidence along with my channel and I am oh, eternally grateful, eternally grateful for both of you and for everybody just being so kind and supportive. So yes, thank you. I love you all. <laughs> Back to the makeup before I start crying. <laughs> So yeah, this is going on really, really nicely and I am really enjoying so far what I'm seeing. It's blending splendidly and those colours are just playing beautifully together. It's so nice. It's not even any patchiness, which is really cool. And one thing that I'm already noticing that I, I usually have quite a bit of problems with, um, say, pressed pigments and, and Jeffree Star eyeshadows do this to me quite a lot is just in this area here and same on this eye right there for whatever reason eyeshadow won't stick to it like I'll always end up with a little bald patch right there and right there and while I can kind of almost see it trying to poke through here and here it's not it's not doing it already that's <laughs> that's impressed me because I have that problem with so, so, so many of my eyeshadows, especially pressed pigment. For whatever reason, I don't know if it's a little oil gland that sits there or, or what it is, but the eyeshadows don't like to stick to it. So I'm going to just quickly clean my brush off. 
with my color switch. This thing is incredible. <laughs> I, I highly recommend a color switch to anybody that's a bit on the lazier side with washing their brushes. And it, it does remove a lot of the pigment. And so far, it's looking really nice. Very Halloween-y, uh, the color green, this green and this purple definitely scream Halloween like cartoon witch kind of vibes to me. I think it's looking beautiful. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my little O3 refer which is a tiny little pencil brush and I'm going to dip into the shade down here which is called Fiona and this is actually an incredibly beautiful duochrome like a satiny duochrome very very unique shade. I'm actually going to swatch this if you are new to my channel, I don't generally swatch whole palettes, just that I don't. There's a hundred other videos out there that swatch the whole palette, so I don't really see the need to do that, but I'm going to swatch this beautiful shade Fiona. So it's a beautiful dark green. I'm going to swatch it, I'm going to swatch it right there. And it's it's kind of duochromey, so I don't know, because see, I don't do swatches, so I suck at this. But it sort of shifts from, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to show you, from shifts from green to black. It's got a black base in it. That might be better. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I suck. This is why I don't do it, because I suck at swatches. But it definitely has a black shift, which I think is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And yes, let's address the elephant in the room. So I do have a new tattoo. And when you seen it in the last video, it was a lot fresher. It's still healing. It still has a little bit of scabbing. I've done my best to keep it as moisturized as possible. Anybody that has tattoos knows that you need to keep them moisturized to prevent a bit of scabbing. But I do have a little bit just up here which is starting to come away but this is the start I don't know how I'm going to show you so it's not distorted I might stand up so that's the start of my new tattoo and it's not finished yet so in the middle it's going to have a beautiful big green emerald and it's also going to have all silver and white and silver pearls in the little circles here are going to be white and silver and purple it's going to have a lot more shading in all of the lace and all of the little filigree bitty bits and pieces all through here so yeah this is basically just the outline finished and then when I go back in a few months after it's healed completely I'll get the gemstone done and the rest of the shading and all the lace and everything done and I might get some beads down here too hanging from down here so yeah it's quite plain at the moment but this is just the first step in my new tattoo and I will definitely, definitely share it with you when it's finished. And if anybody's interested, I might even share the second half of the tattoo being done. Yeah, the tattoo artist that I go to knows that I do YouTube videos. So I think that he would be really happy to let me film it. So if you want to see that, I can do that. The green gemstone is going to look like a gemstone. Like it's going to have shiny, sparkly bits in it. And it's all going to be faceted. And it's going to look fantastic. If you Google gemstone tattoos, you'll see exactly what it will look like. Like that's the kind of inspiration that we went for. And this is his own design. He designed this for me. So it's a one of a kind. But yes, I'm pretty sure that a few of you may have seen it in my last video, but I didn't address it because it was still very, very fresh and very raw. But now it's healing and it just has a little bit of dryness and a little bit of, bit of scabbing, which is really quite normal for a new tattoo and this skin, this part of your body here, this skin is really, really soft and sensitive. So it's, uh, it was painful. <laughs> it was painful. Anybody that tells you that tattoos don't hurt, they're a liar because they do hurt. They hurt a lot, but it's worth it. It's art. It's all art to me. And I've got plenty of other tattoos and I've got a big tattoo on my back that actually covers my whole shoulder blade area, like my whole shoulders and shoulder blades. It goes like right across my whole back. Just wanted to address that because I'm sure a few of you that have been here for a little while would have noticed that and that wasn't there a couple of videos ago. But yeah, that's my new tattoo. So as I was saying, I'm going to use my number three refer brush. I'm going to dip into the Fiona shade and I'm going to use that where I don't think people are going to expect me to use it, but I'm going to use it on my lower lash line. I don't really 
think it's going to have a full duochromy effect down there, which is fine. Uh, I don't want a lot of colour down there. I just want something deep down there just to give my eye a little bit of definition around the bottom there. So I'm going to add this shade right to my lower lash line. And I yes, I could have sprayed it, but... I actually don't want this to be the star of the show so that's why I haven't wet it because I don't want it to be beaming so I've just brought it just to here and can you see how it sort of gives my eye a little bit more like I don't know it just it just works I'm not an aficionado with terminology in eyeshadow so I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say but it's done what I wanted it to do so let's just leave it at that. And it still does have a little bit of its shimmery shifting effect, which is nice. So I'm just, and because it's dry and it, it does appear to have a little bit of fallout because I haven't wet it, I am just pressing it. I'm not sweeping it. And I also don't want to blow it out too much. So I'm sort of like bringing it into a point just before my inner corner. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap there for something else but I am just pressing it and because I, I don't want to blow it out so I'm not going to blend it or anything and keep it quite sharp. I did get a touch of fallout, I'm not too worried about that, I'm just going to flick it off. Beautiful. And it's just perfect, it's exactly what I envisioned, I love it. And when I give you a close up later on when I'm finished you'll see that it does still have a little bit of a shift. It's really really gorgeous. And I'm going to dip back into the purple one, Sabrina, just so that I can just touch up just on that outer corner there, just to bring that vibrancy back a little. Okie dokie, so I'm so happy with how it's looking so far, I think it's looking beautiful. And I'm now going to go onto my lid with a nice pretty shimmer, and I'm going to Firstly, dive into this one, Samantha. This is, oh my god, it's a copper. And some people are going to think, oh, copper's not going to work with that. But I really like the colour, so I'm going to use it anyway. It's a beautiful shade. And what I think I am going to do is I'm going to apply some glitter glue. This is something that I don't normally do. But to be quite honest, most of the time it's because I forget. <laughs> but I'm in such a headspace of trying to get things done in a timely fashion because I'm making a video that I forget to put anything on there to help intensify the shimmer or the whatever so I'm going to use that this time because I've remembered to do it so I'm going to just apply it sort of like a faux cut crease I guess and I'm going to just apply it to two thirds of my lid and I've just gone slightly over the purple but not all the way so I'm going to use my number two refer brush which is a nice little packing brush and I'm going to dip into some Samantha. Oh, this is gorgeous. You watch this. <gasps> oh, yes. This is beautiful. Of the ones that I've used so far, this is definitely my favourite. Definitely, 100%. It's not my favourite of the whole palette, because I haven't tried the whole palette yet, but this is beautiful. I'm just going to feather down there, just to sort of blend the purple with the copper and I'm just going slightly above my crease just so that when my eyes are open you can still kind of see because while I have hooded eyes they're not completely hooded so you can still see that's so pretty but yeah I am going to make another video with this just because I really want to play with the neutral shades in this it has a whole row of neutral shades that I do want to play with because all of you guys that have been here with me for a little while, you know that I do love neutral shades as well. I love neutral looks, especially for my day-to-day, -day. like wearing them, I wear them to work, and I usually tend to play with more colour on my channel. But for everyday life, I generally will do more neutral looks, so I am going to come back and have a play with the neutral shades, and maybe even do a couple of neutral looks where we have a little pop of colour. Um, Annette does that really well. She's actually done a few looks where she's done an all neutral look but then she'll add a pop of bright green or something on the inner corner or she'll do something just to make it not so neutral and 
she's not a neutral girl so the pop of color makes it a little bit more appealing to her but I really like that and I was inspired by her last video that she did that with so I am gonna do that I am going to play with the neutral shades because to be really honest the neutral shades and the neutrally toned shimmers is what really drew me to this palette although I do love the other colors but I loved when I was seeing him swatch the neutral toned shimmers oh I was in love I was melted, it, it just melted me on the inside, I seen it and I was like, yes, I need it, along with the cover. Oh. <laughs> that there, that's just unbelievable. I love it, I love it so, so much. I just noticed that the hand on the box, that's a palmistry hand. I do own a palmistry hand. I will actually go and get it and I will show you when I'm finished this. I will show you my palmistry hand because that's what that is on the front cover of this palette. Okay, so we have done my eyelid shimmer and it looks beautiful. So all I really wanna do now is something on my inner corner and just whatever I put on my inner corner, I will drag down to the little last bit of my lower lash line. And I have to use Prue because that is just gorgeous. It has the most beautiful shift of purple and I might even be able to see a tad of green in it. We'll see when we put it on. So I am actually going to spray this shade because I want it to really pop. So I'm going to go back in with my number three, my pencil brush from Rufa. A couple of you guys have actually bought these brushes since the video that I did where I used them for the first time. Let me know what you think of them. I actually still think these are the best brushes that I own. Like they are that good and I've bought some of the face brushes as well, which I haven't used on video yet, but when I, I'm going to get a couple more and when I've got quite a few of them, I will actually do a full face and I'll use the face brushes as well. They are that good. So I've I popped on my inner corner highlight and it is beautiful. It truly is beautiful. I don't know, I don't know how well it's going to translate on camera because nothing ever looks as good on camera, never, never looks as shiny or bright or glittery. But it's beautiful. So I think that that's it for eyeshadow. I'm going to go off and I'm going to do some eyeliner, some mascara and the rest. You know how it all goes. And I'll be back with the finished look in just a jiffy. And I'm back. And this is the completed look. With the exception of my highlighter. Now I do have a tiny little bit of highlighter on because when I did my base makeup I actually forgot about the highlighter in the box. But I am going to have a quick look at my Luna Beauty highlighter that I picked up with the palette that I got today. So this is the Moon Prism highlighter from Luna Beauty by Manny MUA. So it has a little message on the back from Manny and it says, In the name of the moon, I'll highlight you. Shine bright with these gorgeous moon prism powders that'll leave even the sun gagging for more. These powders go from buildable to blinding in seconds. Shine on my loves, Manny MUA. So this is, and the packaging is just on point. So just the box, I haven't even looked at it, like the actual component yet. How cool is that it just slides off like that? That's so neat. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. It's like a crystal. I knew that I had to own at least one of these because it looks like a crystal. It's just the coolest thing ever. I love that. So this is in the shade Venus. Uh, looking online, I could not tell if it was going to be light enough or dark enough or whatever. The lightest shade wasn't available. It was sold out. So I've had to get this one and I'm hoping, I'm praying that it's not too dark. Oh no, it looks like it might be good. So that is the shade. And it looks pretty good. Like, it, it looks like it's going to be just fine for me. It is gold, but it has like a pinky sort of tone to it. I've just got my e.l.f. brush here. This is actually a flawless concealer brush, but I've never used it for concealer. I always use it for my highlighter. It's just a little, little brush, little fluffy brush. And this gorgeous little thing comes with a mirror. The, all the thought that goes into every little aspect of the packaging is just so good too. So it came with a thing for the mirror, but it also came with a thing for the highlighter to protect everything. So that's just awesome. Attention to detail. We all love that. Right, so I'm going to dip into this little baby. And I'm going to pop it on my little cheekies. Mm, it's beautiful, but I'm a Oh, I hope it's not too dark. I love the texture of this. This is gorgeous. And it's not showing off all my texture. 
So this is the first time I've ever bought a high-end highlighter. Uh, I've always like sworn by my Maybelline Master Chromes. And I thought that they didn't show off too much of my texture. But using this, this definitely is a lot better. But can you tell me, I don't know if you can see it in, is it left me with a dark cast? I'm not sure. I don't think it has. It's a beautiful golden highlighter. That's, look at that. That looks wet. I'm just looking in the viewfinder. I can see that. That is amazing. It looks like I've got oil on my face. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Yes, I'm sold and I'm probably going to have to buy the others. My first experience with Manny MUA's Luna Beauty is going off without a hitch so far. I'm so happy. Right, now this is the completed look. It's done. It's finished. And I will give you a close-up. Instead of zooming in, I'm just going to move forward. What do you think? I think it looks fantastic. I mean, I'm not blowing my own horn. I never am. <laughs> but I kind of am a little bit. This looks so good. I think it looks sickening. I think it looks so fucking amazing. That's what Manny would say. He'd say I look fucking sickening. Because I do. I do. I really do. I think I look fantastic. And I'm so, so happy with this palette. This palette speaks to my heart on so many levels. Before I do show you the promised palmistry hand that I do have, I'll just quickly tell you what I've put on my face other than what's already on here. So I used my Maybelline Master Drama Light Liner in the shade Gold on my waterline and all I did was just use my Essence False Lashes Mascara on my lashes. That's all. I didn't do any eyeliner, I didn't do any wings, I didn't do anything because whenever I do something really, really bold like this and quite dark, I don't want to put a dark wing on it because it just makes it look darker. And when I do do a wing, generally they get bigger than I wanted them to be and then they cover up everything on my on my lid. I just wanted to give the eyeshadow the look, its moment, without adding anything else. So no wing, just mascara and eyeliner on my waterline and I'm happy. And on my lip, just my good old Emco Beauty bullet lipstick. So this one's in the shade Ibiza. It's just a bullet lipstick. It's just like a nice cool toned nude. And again, whenever I do wear something really bold and really colourful on my eyes, I generally will steer towards a nude lip just because I want to give the eyes their moment. No point having a bright colour down here and bright colours up here because then they tend to clash. So yeah, that's the finished look. I'm so happy that rose gold coppery shade on my lids. I'm in love with that. I cannot wait to play with more of these shades. I am so so happy with this. And I only paid $68 for this, that Australian. That's the cheapest palette that I have bought since starting my channel. That I've bought from an indie brand or a high-end brand from America. That's the cheapest. I'm so so happy. Like every little thing about this brand is fantastic. Regardless of what anybody thinks of the man himself, like I mentioned earlier, this brand is on point. So if you were considering getting the Moonspell palette, highly recommend it. So far, this was not really a review, it was just the first impressions having a play and I am going to have another play with it in the very, very near future. So, before I do show you my palmistry hand, I do want to show you a couple of other things that I've added into my background as well. So specifically for today's video, because it's all about witches, I thought that I would add my main girl in the background. This is my gorgeous girl and her name's Esme. She's a witch, so I thought what better video to add her in my background than this with my Moonspell palette. And lastly, as promised, because I noticed that on the cover of the palette is an image of a palmistry hand, I wanted to show you my palmistry hand. So I was given this years and years and years ago by an old man who used to be a doctor. And it's actually from a pharmaceutical company. So this is like a promo item for a pharmaceutical company who was selling the Hydrosoft. It's a, a range of like liquid soaps and moisturizing creams and whatnot for surgeons and like surgical nurse, nurses and nurses in general who are always scrubbing 
before surgery and stripping their hands and whatever and then they you know they lose all their moisture and blah 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 but that's the company and that was the product that was made so it was about protecting your hands and it actually says on the box porcelain palmistry hand your health and good fortune in the palm of your hand so it does come with a card that explains how to read all the lines on your hand and I'm not really going to get into too much detail because this video is getting really long but I just thought that this might interest a couple of you maybe because yeah well I told you why I'm going to show you but I thought it might be of interest to somebody so this is how it comes in the box it comes all packaged in foam so it's nice and secure and safe and when you take it out of the box this is it this is my palmistry hand I've had this for so long I can't even remember how long I've had it but it's been years and years and years and again it's one of my prized possessions like hopefully all the things that I show you you know in my videos kind of give you a bit of an insight into who I am and what I get into and what I'm into and what interests me outside of makeup and that's that's why I'm showing you all this because it gives you an understanding of me and hopefully it's to help you get to know me better so yeah this is the palmistry hand it's a nice velvet bottom and it just has all the images on the hand and all the lines and it has the line of fortune, the line of health, you know, Luna, Mars, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Apollo, Mercury. So it's actually, it's so beautiful. Give you a close up so that you can see. I just absolutely adore this. And I cannot believe that a pharmaceutical company brought this out as a promotional gift, which it would definitely have been limited edition. I've never seen another one of these, ever. I've even checked eBay and the internet. I've seen other ones from, like, you know, different manufacturers that have been created over, over the years and really old, ancient ones and vintage ones, but I've never seen a Gamex PF Hydrosoft palmistry hand. It was a few years ago when I did search for it, so maybe there are a few laying around now, but this is my beauty, and I just thought it was cool that I own one of these, and it's on the front of the palette. So yeah, that was a little tidbit about me. So guys, that is it. Uh, this is a long video, I know, I'm sorry, but I hope that you enjoyed it. I am off to work very shortly. I'm going to clean up all this mess I've created for myself. As I always say, please go and do something kind for somebody because it only takes a minute and it's free. If you were to do something kind for somebody just out of the kindness of your own heart, it will make you feel better to know that you've made someone else feel better. I 100% guarantee that. It will always work. You will always feel amazing if you make somebody else feel good. I promise you that. Until next time, guys. I love you all. You have a good day, night, morning, evening, breakfast, lunch, dinner, wherever you are, whatever you are doing. I will see you next time. Bye.